Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brett from Angel Road. You know, I bought the Lone Wolf Fix uh, saddle stand platform this year. Um, and I just did a quick pan of like the Fix. And then my two uh, tree suite platforms from Tree Hopper that I hunted from last year. And, you know, I don't really have an amount of sets in them. Like, I would say if I hunted if I hunted 30 times out of the saddle, you know, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, so maybe 60 sets in them. You know, they're super light and uh like 2.2 pounds with the strap that they came with uh compared to the fix which is um you know, according to my deer scale, it's 4 pounds on the nose and um you know, the, my biggest concern and not knowing any better, um, I've bought these strictly on cost, is the size. And not knowing what it's like to hike, to hike into the woods, you know, with a, too small of a backpack, um, you know, those, those arms are welded in place and they don't, they're not very compact. Um, you know, that's the entire platform. And I wear a size 11 boot and, um, you know, I made it work. I was never, ever able to comfortably stand on this thing completely and turn around with my back to the tree, which I found myself needing to do several times. Oh, I put these Versa buttons aftermarket on here, and I'd like to be able to figure out a way to make that work, but I haven't been able to figure out a way to get it tight to the tree yet. I mean, with the strap that they come with, you can really get it tight to the tree, but it's a pain in the ass messing with that thing up in the tree um so i'm really looking forward to hunting with the fix this year i've turkey hunted out of it one time so far but i mean i was just i don't know two feet off the ground just just to put just to play with it um you know obviously this thing folds down so compact um and with my new backpack and uh, i ordered some new climbing sticks this thing ought to pack up real nice and neat it's got the built-in hook to go uh, right in my Molly webbing on my uh, latitude platform. And um, anyway, I just wanted to show the difference of the saddles that I used <laughs> compared to what I'm going to saddle hunt out of this year. And I'm really excited about it. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're getting in, just getting in the game, these things for the cost are way worth it. They were like $180 for two. So 90 bucks a piece. Um, they took a while to get, but the dude hand makes them. Um, it's just like metal grating on there that it almost looks like he's got a rhino liner on it. Like he rolled on a rhino lining for some anti-slip, which I never, ever worried about slipping off of these things. They're super strong. They bite the tree really well. Like I said, it's just the, the strap is a pain in the ass. I was never able to pack this thing very well. It just is just an awkward shape. And the fact that those arms or those brackets don't move at all, they're welded in place, was just, just awkward. But again, if you're just getting into it and you want to figure out if it's even even something you like, yes, the resale option on Facebook Marketplace or even in some of the Mobile Hunter Facebook pages is awesome. But, you know, my plan this year is to make this my mobile run and gun, maybe even get the .5, and um, maybe pick a permanent set for my saddle, because I have a bunch of climbing sticks, Hawk Heliums from last year, and just maybe set one of these guys up in a good spot and just leave it there and then bounce around with this guy. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, I just want to make a quick video showing that, but I'm really excited about it this year.